Hi, so this is uh, a map of science um, drawn by um, Luke Leidersdorf and uh, Raffles, which represents uh, scientific fields and their relations. So here the big node in the middle, the big one, is called clinical neurology. Uh, but uh, as you see, you have many others uh, in four categories. In red here, uh, these are the fields from social science. So let's uh, click on it uh, on once. This one is uh, the field of communication, for example. This other one here, I click, is the, contains the journals in the industry of relations and labor. So it's social science here. In green, these are uh, the subject categories uh, for journals in biomedical science. So this one is integrative and complementary medicine, for example. Etc. Here, these are more like physics uh, and uh, chemistry and this kind of sciences. Anyway, so we are uh, looking at um, the papers uh, in neuroethics from, look at the timeline, from 19, uh, 1998 to 2010. Uh, and by sliding the timeline from the left to the right, we will see. Uh, the nodes uh, getting bigger or smaller according to uh, the number of papers in neuroethics being published in the scientific fields. So here the timeline is here and clinical neurology uh, in a bigger size means that uh, the papers published, uh, the, the first papers in neuroethics were appearing in uh, uh, journals in clinical neurology. Now let's move the timeline forward. Well, nothing happens the first years, which means that uh, very few, if any, or just very few papers in neurosix were published. Uh, but you see that, uh, well, one paper uh, or the few papers uh, switched from clinical uh, from clinical neurology to neurosciences and experimental psychology. Let's continue. And now we see more fine-grained uh, fine uh, evolutions, which means that more papers are published um, in different kinds of journals. It's interesting to see that the first uh, burst of activities are in biomedical science. <coughs> And uh, just uh, with just two fields um, in social science being active, ethics, and this one is psych experimental psychology. And then in the following years, the picture gets a, a bit more complex. First, multidisciplinary sciences. This includes journals like Nature, Science, and uh, PNAS. Uh, so you do have uh, papers in your ethics publics in these journals as well as in social issues and ethics of course and as we continue in time we see the picture stabilizing a bit except for social issues that is a bit shrinking and a new field appearing biomedical social sciences And that's for today. So that's it. I think we should uh, 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 look at the papers and see uh, uh, which journals they, they, they appeared in. But the, what this picture shows us is that uh, things, if we go back in time, things started in uh, biomedical science. and then spread it to social science as well, but in a very uh, concentrated uh, field, namely uh, ethics, and then social issues or biomedical social sciences. Thank you.